So you already mentioned a few times the kind of cam servant, cam slave, body servant, and one of the things that I, as a historian, sometimes criticize when I teach in, the, in my survey about plantations is that usage in the plantation of, we're talking about a servant, which is usually described in the literature as kind of a way to potentially annihilate the work, the role of the slave. And um, in your book, you, you use pretty frequently like servant, cam slave, almost interchangeably. That's right. Um, That's right. Was that a conscious choice on your part, or was that because of the, lit of the source base that you used? Yeah, yeah that, that's a good question. I, I, language, I, I, I'm sort of in agreement with you, language is absolutely crucial here. Um, I mean, the idea of a, first, I mean, the idea of a black confederate is pretty much a misnomer, right? right. I mean, you don't see that reference during the war, and very rarely. I mean, I maybe came across it once or twice in the post-war uh, literature. So, so the, the question for me then was, you know, how do you refer to these men, especially in those chapters focused on the war, that acknowledges their legal status, right? And so I remember reading a conference paper going back a number of years by Peter Carmichael. Um, he, you know, his terminology was Confederate slave, right? Oh. Um, which, and if you ask him, you know, why did you choose that? It's because I, I want there to be, his response is, I, I don't want there to be any question as to the, the legal status of these individuals. Because that is, I mean, that's part, I think, of part of the process of undercutting the myth that you are, as much as possible, referring to these men for who they were, right? Their legal status, um, you know, obviously during the war. So I use the camp slave. I, I in, the, in the end, came up with sort of the camp slave, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I also, as you rightly point out, I also refer to them as body servants, as camp servants. I, I wish there was a better explanation as to why I did this, but I, and I think I mentioned this actually in a footnote uh, early on. It really was only, I mix it up really just as a way to keep the narrative flowing mm -hmm. and as a way to sort of acknowledge the language that they would have used at right. the time. So it, it's a way of sort of, you know, I don't want to say playing with language and just sort of acknowledging uh, that terminology, um, you know, from the mid 19th century. But it had to be sort of understood that whenever I'm using that language, I'm, I'm referring to a camp slave, right? Uh, unless it's an individual um, that that sort of exists outside of that um, that category. Um, yeah. So that's that's that was pretty much. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, so you you kind of finish up the book, or you finish up the section in the book with regard to the war, and then you go into the post-war years. And um, I remember that when you start first advertising and talking about the book, one of the pictures of the I think it was a Florida reunion, yeah. and you kind of had Girl somebody line. help you enhance that picture yeah. line of like. It actually says slave on that ex-slave, uh, ex ex yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's let's first talk about the role African Americans going to these reunions. Yeah. It, it sounds it seems almost paradoxically of I why know. would you want to go right. as a former slave with your former master to a event commemorating your enslavement? You would think they they had other other things to do, better things to do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that one image that you're referring to of this Florida reunion, I mean, I think there's somewhere like, somewhere around 12 former camp slaves sitting t together. Mm -hmm. Some of them are in at least part of wearing parts of their old uniforms. And I think it speaks to the fact that, you know, there were, I mean, certainly uh, at any national UCV reunion would have been well, uh, certainly more than 12, you know, that's just one uh, just one subsection, one